What's up, y'all? So we're back at it. Uh, we're doing a little adventure in today. We are in Tennessee. We were at a concert last night, and uh, man, it was awesome. We got to go see Kane and Katie Nicole and David Leonard, and man, just to worship God and to praise together. So we decided to stay the night in Oak Ridge, Tennessee, and make the drive up here this morning up to the Brushy Mountain State Penitentiary uh, here in um, Petros or Petros, I don't know how exactly you say it, in Tennessee. Um, it's outside of Winrock Park. You've seen us ride dirt bikes and things there a bunch. And so it's kind of, it's not in a way connected. So you could ride dirt bikes side by sides, four wheelers and things on the main roads and all to get here. So it's got a lot of history. Um, so we're gonna take a tour today and we wanted to bring you guys along with us just to walk through the prison and just to check it out. And it's been abandoned for a while now. We'll try to maybe put up some different information here in the video just to give you some history about it. Uh, or if nothing else, just Google it, Brushy Mountain State Penitentiary. And uh, man, it's really cool. A lot of cool history here. So we're looking forward to it and glad y'all are tagging along. Let's go.
shower gosh can you imagine though like when the people were in here when the inmates like all the yelling and the i've been pulling on the things to see if you might find one that's open but none of them are i'd love to hear that sound like what it sounded like when they were closed Inmates, which was actually like more than they were licensed to. Oh, really? Yes, yeah, so I mean, it was old. It was thousand inmates. Mm. This is the one who escaped. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Or 
He was the one who killed, killed Martin Luther. Oh, Luther. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, oh, you found an open one. Wait, the game is to be. I bet the lock is going to take not to be told. What does that mean? Don't do it. <laughs> claimed by love just a half a mile from the prison. Huh. <laughs> this is neat. Say this was a cafeteria? Yeah. Did you see the bear tanner? Papa looked like that. <laughs> He's cool. And creepy. <laughs> cool and creepy. There was an inmate who cut in line and felt the business end of a hammer hit his head. <laughs> Let's see, a meat clever to separate his spine. Good grief. Yeah, that's cool. What's back there? That's where the tour goes. Oh, okay. I wonder. truck what and he got out but he got caught in an off-duty prison car he was rabbit hunting so he would you know recognize him
Oh, this is the cafeteria. Yeah. So what is this room? This is the one of the home. This is where the guard used to stand on the rifles, pointed yes. out. And that way if anything went down, they shot them to kill. So that was oh, so this is the guard room. It's bulletproof glass shot. Do it for Dale. <laughs> right here, do it for Dale. See what you got. Oh yeah, they for real did in this picture. You can see some of it. So they're just hanging punching bags instead of right away? Yeah. They're gonna sleep off, punching bags. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And a black one. Oh, yeah. Right. <laughs> Did they wave back? <laughs> well, the colors are pretty back here. Come to 
a concert at the prison. Mm-hmm. So I think maybe they're working on this to get it where you can get the tour. Take stuff out or something, maybe. I don't know. They go to tour that because it's more... It's like a little more up to date. Uh-huh. So, as we were walking through there, I looking at all those jail cells and just looking at the bars and looking at, you know, the... You know the things that were engraved in the walls and reading the history of this place of you know how at times it housed almost a thousand inmates which was way over what it was you know licensed to even hold and um, just the kind of life you know that that's behind bars and then I couldn't help but to continue just to think about I think it's over in Acts chapter 19 I believe it is uh, where Paul and Silas they were imprisoned um, you know for doing all the right things you know when you walk through here and you read the history and you you know you think about james earl ray who you know was the murderer there of martin luther king jr and, and you just read all that history you know these people that were here you know they were bound to this place because of their consequences for the things they did i mean they they deserve to be here and then we read about paul and silas and how they were imprisoned and they were beaten and and all these things happened to them for doing the right thing. You know, they were living for God. They were preaching God's word. And, and they were bound and found themselves, you know, imprisoned. But when you continue to read that, you find that through their faith in God, how they continued to praise him through some things they didn't understand. Um, maybe, you know, I know I wouldn't understand why in the world am I being locked up for doing the right thing and for serving God. And But through all that, you'll find that they sang praises they prayed and they rejoiced in the middle of all that. And you walk through these prison cells and things and, man, how in the world do you rejoice? And even knowing that back in Bible times, you know, the, the conditions were even way harsh than what you see here. But they still found joy in their situation. And then there's so many people today who your life, your circumstance, your situation, your family issues, your addictions, or whatever the things may be, you find yourself in almost an imprisoned life you feel bound and you feel imprisoned by your circumstance your situations and you say man i just don't know how in the world i'm ever going to get through it or how am i how am i going to overcome it when you read that paul and silas they continue to sing and pray and eventually there was a great earthquake and and the doors and all even shook off their hinges everything was broke free their chains were gone their chains were broken the same thing for us today when we're imprisoned by our situations our circumstances and, and our afflictions and whatever it may be the way out of that is to continue to call on god and to not give up on god maybe you've never called on god before then in the middle of all this you call on to a holy god who can indeed break your chains and and, and change your situation but it's all about our faith paul and timothy or paul and silas i'm sorry they continue to have that faith and they never let their faith waver and we've got to be strong and continue to stick to our faith and to cling to God and know that eventually that we'll get through this season in our life and everything's going to be fine. And so just remember that. Remember that it's all about continuing to find joy and to find rejoicing in the worst times of our life to allow God to bring us a victory and to allow God to do some amazing things through us. So just wanted to have that on my heart and just wanted to share that with you while we're here checking out this prison and just reading the history and uh, i encourage you to take time to do some research on the brushy mountain state penitentiary yourself and just absolutely check it out and just see some of the things that went on here in these mountains and what it was about and so we thank you for joining with us and of course as we always say remember faith family fun and god bless